Again, our topic today dealing with relative humidity, and simply put, the relative humidity is the amount of moisture in the air relative to the amount of moisture the air can hold at a given temperature. So a couple of examples here for you now. Air temperature, for instance, being 75 degrees, say the actual dew point temperature, the temperature at which that saturation occurs is 52 degrees, makes the relative humidity running at about 45%. In another scenario, it's a little more humid this time around. The air temperature is 75, the actual dew point temperature is 72. This is something you see a lot in the southeast, especially in the morning and the summer times. That makes for a very high relative humidity of around 91%. We'll take a break. We'll talk about the differences in wintertime as well as in the uh, desert locations right after this. We're at the height of the severe weather season right now. Last week, tornadoes touched down in many parts of the United States. For today's story, we'll take you back to three of the deadliest tornado events in our history. The Xenia, Ohio tornado, April 3rd, 1974. There were 148 tornadoes that same day in the eastern half of the U.S. That's one of three killer tornadic events we'll discuss in this report. We begin with the deadliest twister, known as the Tri-State Tornado, March 18, 1925. 695 people were killed. This rare film shows the destructive power which reached the maximum conceivable rating of F5. The Tri-State's tornadic winds were estimated at up to 300 miles per hour. In Illinois, the town of Murfreesboro lost 234 souls to the wind, the most of any town in U.S. history. Scientific thinking is now that perhaps, we're not sure, but perhaps the Tri-State tornado was actually a series of violent tornadoes but uh, moved along the exact same path to give the appearance of one single tornado. In the afternoon of June 9, 1953, in Worcester County, Massachusetts, the sky grew dark and large hailstones began to fall. A Category F4 tornado touched down in Petersham and didn't disappear into the clouds until it had traveled 46 miles, killing 90 people. The damage totaled more than $52 million. Usually you think of violent tornadoes, F4 and F5, as being in Kansas and Oklahoma in the so-called Tornado Alley. But this was in Massachusetts, and it's very unusual to see a tornado of that to violence in the New England area. On April 3rd and 4th, 1974, 148 tornadoes touched down from Mississippi to upstate New York. It's known as the Super Outbreak killing more than 300 people and injuring 5,000. In Xenia, Ohio, this F5 tornado traveled 32 miles and killed 34 people. In Wilberforce, the Xenia tornado caused $7.5 million in damage to Central State University's campus. Students returning to campus were in shock. That tornado has been very widely studied from the damage that it caused and the, and the very good film that we have of it. And there is a chance that could be one of the most violent tornadoes ever, even for an F5 that was extremely violent. We look at the pictures of the horrible destruction in Murfreesboro, Illinois, so many years ago. And we know that throughout our history, tornadoes have ravaged the American landscape. We also know that they always will. I'm Charlie Welch, The Weather Channel.